men came home. They were brown and fit, and only a few of them had died. I just went shopping when somebody told me, don't you hear the noise? And there I saw this part of the army coming back just near, so I bought a bowl of cherries and ran there. We all were so glad. We heard so much of the First World War with those dreadful battles and those many dead. I felt a sort of national pride. We ended the war so quick. In cities untouched by war, the German people had hardly begun to give up the ways of peace. There was rationing, even shortages. But to make up for it, the regime preached enjoyment, luxury. While the British had declared frivolous things immoral, the Nazis tried to show that luxury still flourished. Promises were their propaganda, and those who ran the war effort came to believe their own promises. Only a few saw further. It was just about August. It was ordered that uh, a lot of production was stopped and or minimized or uh, things like that. And there was a kind of uh, euphoria that the war was, so to say, over. I didn't believe in that at all. Now I thought I knew the British and I had the opinion that they would see this thing through and that the United States would join war and therefore every effort should be made to prepare for a long blockade. Hitler had no plans ready for a long struggle, no preparations for the total mobilization of all productive capacity. German industry had been geared to a blitzkrieg war. The regime still let the factories turn out peacetime goods. The workers, subjugated but not fully converted, watched the comings and goings of the Nazi princes without enthusiasm. Wanting to be loved, the Nazis gave and gave. For 1940, propaganda minister Dr. Goebbels was Father Christmas. He gave to children, gave to mothers. In Berlin wurde der neue Film Mutterliebe uraufgeführt. Auf Veranlassung von Reichsminister Dr. Goebbels lud die NSV 1200 Trägerinnen... Ladies with larger broods were invited to the film premiere of Mother Love, the regime's hymn to family and folk community. Ja, halt ohne Papa weiterkommen will. Das heißt, er wird uns ja vom Himmel aus helfen. So gut er kann. Er wird mit ihm wieder gut sprechen. On their breasts, they wore the Nazi Mother Cross. The pram was the tank of the home front. The government hoped for a breakthrough on the birth rate. Happy babies, happy future mothers, and very specially, happy music soused the nation. A big smile glued across the face of a people still often dubious and nervous was stretched even wider. Everybody must learn to enjoy the happy teamwork of Hitler's folk community. Radio was the instrument which the Nazis made their own from the beginning. Their foreign language broadcasts, technically marvelous but grotesquely unconvincing, reached greedily out to minds abroad. Today's official German war communique reads as follows. But listening to foreign radio was forbidden. Many, like the propaganda comics, Tran and Heller argued the toss between getting a glimpse of the outside world and the risk of a jail sentence. Sogar Zuchthaus. 
Auch wenn es keiner merkt. <lacht> Ob das einer merkt oder nicht merkt, das spielt doch gar keine Rolle. So was tut man als guter Deutscher nicht. Ja, aber man muss sich doch orientieren, was draußen vorgeht. So natürlich. Die ausländischen Sender, die sagen die reine Wahrheit. Nicht? Klar. Ja klar, du Döskopf. Ja. Hast du noch niemals etwas von dem Nachrichtensystem unserer Feinde gehört? Ja, aber... Nix, ich... aber dann müsstest du wissen, dass alles nur darauf abzielt, unsere Widerstandskraft zu schwächen. Herr J., ich bin doch alt genug, um unterscheiden zu können, was wahr ist und was nicht. Ach, immer noch der... Wurde wegen Abhören ausländischer Sender zu zweieinhalb Jahren Zuchthaus verurteilt. If we listen to foreign radio, which we always did, we turned it very low and um, we used to sit right up close against it. And I remember one particular moment when my son, uh, who was a little schoolboy, uh, told me that uh, he had a very funny story to tell me that his friend's mother also listened to the radio with her ear right up against it, the same as we did. And I suddenly realized that I could have her in prison, she could have me in prison, because these two children have been talking about it. As well as geography and the rest, Nazi schools were obliged to add a special subject. Children were taught, with pictures and measurements, the dimensions of a healthy Aryan race. Official films prepared the Germans for the consequences of keeping the race pure. The mentally incurable, condemned as the bad seed, went to experimental gas chambers. Das deutsche Volk kennt das ganze Ausmaß dieses Elends wohl kaum. Es kennt nicht den drückenden Geist jener Häuser, in denen tausende lallende Schwachsinnige künstlich ernährt und gepflegt werden müssen, die tiefer stehen als jedes Tier. Aber wir haben diesen Menschen die Möglichkeit gegeben, in ihren Kindern ihr Leid zu verdoppeln und zu vervielfachen. Wer solche Wesen gesehen hat, der wird wohl nicht mehr behaupten können, dass die Verhinderung zur Entstehung solcher Wesen nicht human wäre. But now, for once, the Germans learned what was going on and protested. Bishop Garland of Münster attacks euthanasia from the pulpit. For a time, the program was stopped. A controlled press avoided such misgivings. Some newspapers were mere party sheets of hate and lies. Some slipped criticism between the lines. None of them satisfied a people which was still highly educated. It was terribly frustrating never to be allowed to say your opinion openly. I myself was quite happy when I was called up early 1940 to the army and that suddenly left behind all the oppression I had every day. I didn't, in, 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 being a soldier, you don't read newspapers, you don't listen to the radio, you're not always under the stress of the propaganda which was pointed at you every hour. European war became world war in June 1941. The Nazi leaders had secretly resolved that the conquest of Russia must come. Reichsminister Dr. Goebbels verließ die Proklamation des Führers. Deutsches Volk, in diesem Augenblick vollzieht sich ein Aufmarsch, der den Ausdehnung... For many, the attack of the Soviet Union brought fear and bewilderment. Of course, I had heard of... Uh, Uh, certain preparations, but uh, it was all uh, well hushed up and uh, till the last moment I didn't think that the war would come about. For a long war, Germany would need to have the South Russian oil fields for her own. Russia had delivered a million tons of oil the previous year under the Nazi-Soviet pact, now flung away. As a matter of fact, we had the greatest trade agreements with them that we ever had and they delivered promptly and from an economic point of view, everything seemed to be in order. I personally had, uh, uh, through my men, uh, 
negotiations with them of putting up a synthetic fiber mill in Russia. Uh, and the treaty was signed on the 15th of June 1941. And uh, the first 10 million marks in gold should be shipped on July 1st of 1941. Das waren die Soldaten, ja die gehen richtig ran. The Germans drove eastwards over disintegrating Russian armies.